So it is July 29th, 2020, and today is going to be Caesar's first veterinarian appointment. Um, I received him on Monday, and it was important that I jump right in and get him set up and signed up with a veterinarian um, so we can become acquainted, so we can make sure that everything is everything, and um, that he's got all his shots and everything going on. So. Uh, we're about to be heading across the water to Newport News to the Banfield Veterinarian Hospital. Um, again, where he'll be seeing a vet for the first time today. So let's just go. Just sit down and enjoy the ride. Much bigger. <laughs> Caesar. Okay, so Caesar and I just left Banfield Hospital. There was a little discrepancy with the wellness plan that I signed him up for. Um, and I'm only thinking because the location that I originally chose, I didn't have any appointments coming up. So I just went to the Newport News location instead. But um, we got all of that rectified and he was able to be seen. Uh, he is currently being a spoiled brat. Uh, our ride over was a little less than pleasant. He did not want to sit still. Um, and so he actually knocked over the water that I got for him. Uh, so I'm just gonna let him sit in my lap until we get home because this is the only way I can get him to just relax. Um, they said he has a worm belly. Um, so what that means is they more, more than likely he has worms, uh, but he did get his first um, deworming today so I'm just gonna monitor his stool uh, to see if he does pass any worms um, because he is too little he only was able to get his first uh, vaccine today um, so I'm gonna schedule an appointment with Banfield to uh, get him checked back up in three weeks and at that point we should be able to get his um, Forget what it's called, but his bloodline. Make sure you know I can. We'll know his DNA from him as well as his parents. I just wanted to confirm he is 100% blue nose. Um, you know, just based on genealogy and my understanding of science, uh, he would definitely have to be 100% to be able to be uh, blue nose. So um, we're just gonna wait for that. But yeah. She did give me some tips on training and caging, a couple of things I was not doing properly, so I was able to, I'm glad I was able to talk with the doctor about that, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna monitor this bad boy, um, and then we'll just keep you posted on that. <laughs> 